Chris from Hockey Tutorial here. Today in this video, we're going to be taking a look at CCM's ASV, which is a mid kick stick, and VSA against Sherwood's Code TMP1, which is a hybrid kick point stick. Easily comparable to a mid kick stick, or another hybrid stick, or a low kick stick. We're going to be doing it in this order first, but of course, we're going to be looking at CCM's jet speed range shortly after this. Now, this is going to be an interesting video because both of these sticks are one model below top spec. But what's the performance like? What's the weight like? Are these the type of sticks that a player that's going from top spec to the, le the range just below would happily use without feeling that they're compromising on performance while saving money? That's what we're going to be figuring out in this video. So let's see which one of these two brands ranks highest when you move away from the top spec sticks and look at the ranges just below it. So, code TMP1 versus the ASB from CCM. One's mid kick, one's hybrid kick. Feedback. I felt like the Sherwood TMP1 was way better to uh, to shoot with. I felt like you could just get a lot more pop out of it. Yeah. Um, I think the ASB is a bit more stiff, um, a bit more clunky, if that makes sense. Yeah, it does. Um, Whereas the everything just sort of flows a lot nicer with the Sherwood TMP1. Yeah. I've never sort of said that on here before, but it's just way easier to do almost everything with. Okay, so like, um, what type of shot do you feel like it excelled with it being a hybrid kick point stick? I definitely felt like my one tees were very nice with that stick. I yeah. felt like I could easily get a a very clean one timer off. Definitely a lot easier than I could with the AS ASV. So. Um, yeah, I mean, personally, if I had to buy one, mm -hmm. I would definitely be going with the Sherwood TMP1. Like I said, it's just, it's way, everything flows well. It's good to shoot with, good to stick out on the way, clean backhands, nice one tees. You get a good flex on the stick when you shoot. All those aspects that are important in a stick, it has. How did it compare um, in terms of, you're saying that the, uh, the CCM felt a bit more clunky? Yes. In what way? Like what? What did it not excel at? What areas of that stick you, like, did you feel underperformed in comparison to the Sherwood? It felt heavy. Okay. It felt like I had, it used a lot more energy to get stick handling done and to get a nice shot off with. It almost felt like he was using a mid-range stick when that's something you really don't want. Um, ideally, you want a stick that still has the nice feel, the nice pop, the nice release, good a stick handle with, and a good weight when purchasing one of these sticks. You don't want a you don't want a stick that's going to affect your ability to play. And I feel like with the ASV, that definitely does that. Um, well, for me at least, anyway, I felt like it was a lot harder for me to stick handle, shoot with. It just almost felt like I had. A, a brick on the bottom of my blade. Fair. And what would you say, if anything, did the ASB stand out in performance? <laughs> anything at all? I mean, no shock. You can always take a nice one, uh, slap shot with the ASV. It's one of the, I think it's probably one of the aspects of that stick always excels in. It's it's always been CCM's power shot stick. So you could feel that? Yeah, absolutely. You always, you're always one type of old school, big cloud. I wouldn't say one T. Yeah. I'd say more skating slap shot. Okay. A different type, like, because obviously one T, you kind of want to get the flex off and get it going nice and quick. Whereas with the, the slap shot, you just sort of, you, you pick your times. Ripping. Yeah, basically. Yeah. So I'm going to take your head off with this shot, then that's a stick for it. But personally, if I was going to purchase one, show with TMP, it's just an all round better stick. Is there any differences in the shape of the sticks or the... Um... 
I felt like, surprisingly, the ASV was actually a little bit more square than the, the TMP one. So, obviously, as you've seen in the future, I don't like a square stick. I always like my sticks to be a little bit more round. Yeah. But the ASV definitely was felt a little bit more square anyway. So, yeah. So, if, you're, if it was your money, you were buying, you'd go? Show a TMP, hands down, okay. hands down. I mean, I'm sure you can see it in the videos, you know, it, it just looked a lot more clean to shoot with, stick handle with. Um, it was almost, everything in my game felt a lot easier and flowed nicer with that stick. It sounds stupid, it's probably a bit of a mind thing, but when you've got a heavy stick in your hands and you're not feeling comfortable, everything just feels off. But that, that wasn't the case with the Sherwood. It kind of was with the CCM. Thoughts on using sticks at that price point? I mean, if it's like the Sherwood TMP1, I'm, I'm definitely down. Obviously, you know, there's obviously perks of having the top of the range sticks, but like, it's not a terrible stick. It's not a stick that's going to affect your game. Yeah. So I would 100% use it. If like, we couldn't get any top of the range sticks and Chris's like, this is all I've got. I, I call, I'm not going to complain about it because it's a very good stick to use. As always, a big thank you for watching the video all the way to the end. Make sure you thumbs up and subscribe so you can stay up to date with all of the videos that we post. And side note, make sure that you also comment down below and let us know what videos you want to see next. Big thank you to Sherwood and CCM for making this video possible. And of course, Cambridge Ice Arena for allowing us to shoot the video here. All the links that you need are going to be down below to buy or to follow us on Instagram. Make sure you do that. But take care till next time. Thumbs up, subscribe. And see you next time.